Hello everyone, welcome to 30 days SQL challenge. In this series, we will be solving data analyst or business analyst interview questions for SQL. So uh, today is the day one of 30 days and we have questions that was asked for Amazon business analyst entry level role. So uh, let's go ahead and you know solve the questions. So the first questions we have, which is the you have two tables. The first table name is product and the second table name is suppliers and the product table has column product ID, product name, supplier ID and price. And the supplier table has a column supplier ID, supplier name and countries. And this both tables are connected using supplier ID. So, so uh, the questions we have which is write an SQL query to find the name of the product with the highest price in each country, written the product name, price and country. So basically we need to find out the so product name that has the highest price for each country. So for each country we want one product that has the highest the maximum price. So uh, let's go ahead and you know solve this uh, question. So let's uh, see the table. I have created a dummy table. So let's go ahead and check the supplier table. So you can see the supplier table has the supplier ID, supplier name, country and let's go ahead and check the product table. So the product table has product ID, product name, supplier ID, the price. So basically the both tables has a common column that is supplier ID. So uh, before solving, uh, you know, this uh, questions, so we need to understand that like what exactly we need. So now for this uh, problem, we need the product price, product name and the country. So let's go ahead and first start writing the query. So we want product name from product table so I mean uh, for the product table I'm using P product name then we need P dot price which is product price and then S dot country so basically what we need the product name from product table which is uh, P price from the product table which is P S uh, uh, S uh, basically supplier table and the country so from supplier table we are uh, you know requesting country we need to add a comma here so we'll need to join this two table so one is products then the second table we will be joining in with supplier as s product as p so I'm using alias s p and s for both the table so joining on so p dot supplier as they both has the same uh, you know a column that is supplier id and the supplier id in both the table so we'll be joining in this so let's go ahead and first see like how does it look like oops uh, i think I, there is a mistake product name so it's a product name i think i wrote it incorrectly so let's see so now we have product name we have price and the country so now what we need that first for each country we need the max price because we for each country we have multiple entry you can check for India we have one product iPhone 14 another product iPhone 11 so how do you do that so uh, there's a function called row number so by using row number basically first we need to you know group it all India together then we need to group it all you know the US or Canada you know together and from out of this India all the product we need to basically order it by the price so price is a descending so that we can select the the one the first one so we can solve this kind of problem using a row number so I'll be showing you how you can do that so let's go ahead and add a row number here row number row number and uh, we'll be using our close here and we'll be doing it partition partition by country country from supplier so s dot country s dot country and we'll be doing order by p dot price descending order s rn so what we're doing is basically we are selecting the same result but this time we are doing a partitions by country so basically for one country it will come uh, in a group and then it will come another country and then another country basically in this order so then what we will be doing and we will be doing order by by the price so basically out of that particular country we want to order the product by the price as a descending so the highest uh, pr uh, price product would come on the first 
and then we are giving a alias name as rn so basically we are giving as a row number so let me just show you so now you can see that for canada we have like row number one which is samsung galaxy s20 that has the highest price then lg that has uh, also the highest price i would say then iphone 15 which is has the second highest price so similarly and we are giving a row number one two three four up to five so we have five product from the canada then if we just go to the india then in india we can see that the row number one two three four five so five product again six product we have from india seven product i think seven eight product nine ten so we have multiple products from india so basically what is happening here is that for india we are giving row number one to the highest price product that is asus and asus and then the second is oppo fine x3 so this all are the highest price so what we can now we have, what we can do we can simply filter it by just row number one so because row number one will give on this product which is from canada and then it will also give the sec this product the highest price product from india and basically from each country it will give me the product name that has the highest price so uh, we cannot use row num uh, this rn in this same query because uh, we will have to use it outside of this basically you know query so let me just show you why it is not allowing let's say where rn equals one if i just write rn so and see so that so this column doesn't exist in this table basically so this is a function which we have created so now we will be using it outside of this query so for to do that we will be using a subquery we will be using it under a subquery so let's go ahead and select everything from so we are selecting everything from this table and we are using a subquery so i'll just put everything in this this basically and we will be whenever we are using a subquery in form uh, you know from clause and we will need to give it as a alias name so i'll be giving it x1 now i can use this where clause okay now let's go ahead and see the result so now you can see that the result that we have which is the samsung galaxy s20 that is basically the highest uh, you know uh, the price is high uh, the maximum price product from country canada and then we have india that is asus and from us we have one plus nine which is this price so this is how we have solved the first problem so let's go to the you know cn second problem what we have today so the second problem we have that uh, you have two tables one table name is customer another table name is transactions so the customer table has column customer id customer name registration date so this is the customer table then we have transaction table which is transaction id transaction uh, sorry customer id transactions date and amount so uh, we can see that both table has same column which is customer id so basically they both are we can build a relation between these two table using customer id so now what we need write a sql query to calculate the total transactions amount for each customer for the current year so basically for the current year how much money they have spent in the you know amazon platform we need to find out that the output should contain customer name and the total amount so the condition is that we need here that uh, let's go ahead and make it a little big so first we need total spend course we will be getting it from this you know uh, the transaction table and then we need like that is we need for each customer so we we'll need customer customer name so for the customer name and the total amount that we need and then we need to filter it by basically current year so current year so let's go ahead and you know see i have already created the dummy table for this practice so let's see the table that i have created select from customers so the customer table i have created i have three customers here john jen and michael okay so we have the transaction table now you can see that transaction table has the transaction id customer id transaction date and amount so you can see that uh, the information the the data that we have which is from 2022 2023 2024 so now what we need the all the transaction amount 
for each customer and for basically for this current year so total uh, how much they have spent in this current year so let's go ahead and see how we can solve this so we need customer name total spent and current year so uh, we can find customer name from the customer table so we will be using select c dot customer name now we will be using then we need price p dot t dot price so i'm getting the price from transaction table so i have given it alias st and for the customer table i have given it alias sc so we have got customer name and the price and then we will go ahead and join both the table from customers sc customer table i'm joining giving it as alias sc and joining it join with so joining it with basically transactions table transactions st and giving it alias st and i'm joining both the table on customer id so c dot customer id equals t dot customer id so basically this c and t are the alias that we have given so for this table it's considered c and for this table it's considered t so now i have joined both the table so we have got customer name and the price oops so when there's a mistake i think we uh, instead of price it should be amount yes so what we need basically uh, as per our you know basically our questions uh, let's go ahead and check the questions again total transactions amount for each customer for the current year so basically we need instead of single amount we need total amount so we'll be using some sum and giving it name as like total amount so i'll be just giving it as alias as total amount so we have customer name we have uh, you know uh, the total amount and then we are joining both this table now we need to use a group by because by doing a group by we will be able to see for each customer how much amount they have spent so we'll be using a group by group by we will be doing a group by here and group by will be group, grouping it by customer name so group by one we can use one or we can just write it the information so i'll be using it one as of now so once we do a group by we will be able to see like how much money they have spent total so far let's go ahead and check group by oops so group by we need to give it group by so now you can see for each customer we have the total amount spent for the whole you know the lifespan so now the question is that we want to find out the the sum for only current year not for the you know all the year so to do that we can use uh, you know where conditions before uh, basically group by so that we can filter out all the data that are only exists uh, i mean they that are only related to this year so how do you do that so let's go ahead and do that so where we will be using a where clause and in the transactions we have a date column so we can basically filter that table so in the transaction you can see that in transactions table we have transaction date so we can uh, you know use a where by here so what we can do is that where extract year from transactions date equal to extract year from current date so what we're doing i'll just show you let's go ahead and see the result so what we're doing is that uh, from this transaction date we're extracting the the year so basically from this date it will extract the year and what we are saying that this year has to match with the this uh, you know query so this section which says extract year from the current date so current date will basically give us a date of like today and from this today we are extracting the year so obviously it's going to be 2024 which is uh, this year and so after this equal it's going to give me 2024 and now from all the data we are filtering it by the year so in this year we are just uh, you know telling the query that this year has to match with this year so now uh, this query let's go ahead and run this query 
so now you can see that uh, basically what we are getting is that all the you know transactions amount from the current year for this customer which is 241 and for john we have got 251 now we are not seeing the third customers maybe that third customer has not purchased any you know i mean made any transaction in this current year so we can just verify it by going into uh, this query let's go ahead and see oops okay uh, oops i'll be using it group by so i'm just giving it as So now we can see that uh, this is the transactions, the all transactions, but we're not getting any transaction for this third customer. Uh, let's go ahead and see the customer name. So the customer name is, you know, so what we're getting for Jane and John. So let's see in customer tables. So we have John gen but for uh, you know michael we're not getting any you know transactions so we'll be going ahead and check the transition for michael customer id is three so we'll see if michael has made any purchase in this current year so for michael he has made any uh, transaction which is last year and other than this again 2022 2022 so michael has not made any purchase in this current year because of that we are not getting any output for you know michael so this is the you know result that we needed for this questions to solve this question so we have used simply group by and joining both the table and use the date functions which is here so now if you're using mysql you can use instead of this extract because it only works for postgresql for mysql you can use simply you know extract here from the transaction date and here from the current date and you can basically filter it and this is going to give you this results Thank you so much for watching the video i hope you have learned something new today i'll be making every day one video and solving you know different companies interview related questions for data analyst and business analyst so do feel free to subscribe the channel and if you have a different approach to solve this problem that is completely okay do leave in the comment section so i would like to see them see you next time take care bye bye have a good day take care